This is a uh, Hyundai Ioniq and here we have a 120 kilowatt Delta fast charger. So I'm gonna test now to verify what speed it has because there has been some rumors that, you know, well, I mean, on paper, the Ionic is supposed to charge on um, uh, up to 100 kilowatt. But when I tested on a different charger at a different location over a year ago, I managed to get only 70 kilowatt. And then some people claim that you can you can get it at like you can get speeds to 80 to 90 kilowatts. So I want to verify what kind of speed this car <laughs> will get. Uh, so I've driven the car down to pretty low now, 15 percent. So let's see then what speed we get. All right, I saw the result. Uh, we still got the same result as last time. So, um, you know, I think it's a limitation in the charger because uh, you know, the way it works is that uh, you saw that the speed was slowly going up uh, as actually the, the voltage in the battery goes up. So I estimated that uh, this charger can output about 170 amp maximum. Whereas supercharger, you can go way past that. You can output like 350 amp. Uh, but that's just the nature of this. So I guess we have to find a charger that can output, let's say, 250 amp, maybe then, or 300 amp, then we can see the maximum. Uh, I still don't believe that, uh, you know, the Ionic, well, we, we can't uh, conclude anything yet. Because, uh, I mean, is it the Ionic or is it the, the fast charger? Um, I believe it's the fast charger that is the limitation, not the car itself. Uh, of course, Hyundai, they, they claim uh, 100 uh, kilowatt so um, uh, we still have to find the right charger yeah maybe later when you know the 150 kilowatt fast charger or the 350 kilowatt fast charger comes out then maybe we get that speed because I believe they are they should also be compatible with with the old cars which doesn't take that speed you know it will just ask for whatever power it wants yeah but anyway it is freezing cold here so yeah it was a nice uh, test but uh, <laughs> not yet yeah so um, that's it for now then. All right, new day, new possibilities. Uh, now we are in Vespi. So this is a 100 kilowatt DC fast charger from Delta and operated by what well, it used to be Arctic Roads, uh, but now it's BKK. Um, and see, I've been there before. This is where I recorded the, the, the video before. Uh, where I charged to, I mean, where I, where I reached about uh, 69, almost 70 kilowatts. But look here, right now we are only receiving less than 60 kilowatts. And um, there was, uh, I was actually in, um, in the debug mode earlier, and well, I was told <laughs> by some other people here that were just you know, checking out the fast charger that it's limited to 150 amp. And that sounds about right because if you take 150 amp multiplied by you know the the charging um, uh, I mean the voltage the charging voltage we get about this number. So um, and the Hyundai Ionic is supposed to charge on 100 kilowatt I mean on, on paper, and uh, the highest result I had was almost 70 kilowatt. But uh, it seems like in order to get 100 kilowatt 
you have to have at least 270 to 300 amp and these chargers well they are called 100 kilowatt chargers but uh, I think that the, the reason why you know we don't get this, the result is well now for some, for some reason it's nerfed to 150 amp it was 200 amp before um, um, I don't know, the only explanation I have is that you know the maximum output may, might only be 200 on each plug and maybe you can use uh, you know you can use the, the channel and the CCS simultaneously so that the charger might be capable of you know, outputting more or maybe according to the spec the 100 kilowatt is based on 500 volts not 400 volt I'm not sure but we still have to find the right charger maybe later when they they install those 150 kilowatt and uh, 350 kilowatt chargers uh, maybe then we can achieve the maximum speed of the Ionic. I believe uh, the 150 kilowatt charger should be able to output enough amps. So we just have to wait and see. Uh, hopefully this year it will come out so I can do another test. So I'm not going to give up yet on the Ionic. I will try to find the truth about this. <laughs> so far the highest result is only, well, only 70 kilowatts. Alright, but uh, I guess uh, that's it for now then, uh, the quest for Ionic <laughs> maximum speed.